Hi there everyone. Welcome to the video lecture series on complex integration. I'm Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture, I shall be discussing about in line integration when the contour is a circle of the type whose equation or is given to us as mod of z minus z naught equals to r. Okay. And this circle is positively oriented. Positively oriented meaning it is having a direction which is anti-clockwise. Okay. Now, uh, see, we have seen so far the curves which are involved in the line integration here are integral f of z dz we have seen and then the curve was first time we saw it was a straight line. Okay. Then we had seen some uh, parametrization okay and then in that parametrization if you see that if you could understand a bit more deeper then it could be parabola also okay we have seen parabola as the curve and we have seen a parametric curve also that could be a line it could be a straight line or it could be a circle also so it depends now, in parametrization, any curve could be given in terms of some relationship between the two variables. Now, we see something as a circle. So, this is the fourth curve that we are encountering. Whenever we are given a circle as a curve, let us first understand what is this equation trying to tell us. The equation uh, here, mod of z minus z naught equals to r this z naught which we see okay i'll write here this z naught is a complex number okay the complex number and r is a real number and z naught is the center of the circle okay is the center of the circle and capital r is the radius of the circle that is very important now let us see what to do what kind of substitution we do so when we have given this kind of circle then the following substitution comes into the picture z equals to z naught plus r into e to the power i theta now when you are given this you are having theta so theta is always between 0 to 2 pi okay now remember i have given you the general value for theta it is depending upon the case depending upon the problem if the semicircle is given we will go from 0 to pi or something like that it depends okay i am taking right now general that theta is 0 to 2 pi depending upon what region of the circle is given whether it is a semicircle or a quarter of a circle or some three quarters or something then we will take theta accordingly now the most important thing to find dz from this equation when we find dz we get the value as capital R into i times e to the power i theta d theta this this is the value that is going to come for dz now having said this as the substitution some important formulas come along with all these concepts okay let me recall some formulas which are very crucial to complex analysis when we are doing over here okay if you have not seen them previously you please note down them because they are very very crucial they will come very frequently in complex integration the first formula is e to the power i theta is equals to cos theta plus i sin theta okay then the another formula is e to the power i n theta is equals to minus of 1 to the power n where n belongs to this kind of z and this z is nothing but the set of integers i'll just write it over here it is the set of integers all across the globe the set of integers is denoted by this kind of z okay so remember this kind of scripted z or a 
outlined red whenever you see this set of integers cos n pi is equals to minus of 1 to the power n where n belongs to set of integers and sin n pi is always 0 for all set of int all whenever n is the integer okay so this is important now let us go for the uh, another set of important formulas these are two allied formulas which always come together and i have tried to you know make it little bit easy for you to remember because here the coefficients of x that you can see in the power of e is a and here is for cos and sine it is b now these two formulas always come in a, you know in uh, this comes simultaneously because whenever you talk about cosine you always talk about sine also so e raised to ax cos bx when you are integrating you can see there is this first term e raised to ax over a square plus b square is common in both the formula so you just have to remember the this thing. now as you see the alphabet a you're right it always comes first so in this bracket also it comes first and also similarly in the second bracket since you are integrating cosine right so cosine always comes first and here in the second uh, formula you are integrating with sine right so sine comes first then comes the alphabet B with a positive B but in sign it is negative and then there is the since cos has come now the sign has to come because they are you know very good friends in mathematics wherever you see sign there is always cosine so <laughs> yeah so sine and cosine here the sign comes with a positive sign and the cosine comes with a negative sign so, so this is how you remember that I just uh, gave you a, a overview of understanding these formulas. I'll just erase these arrows. I just don't want you to, you know, uh, just fix it, uh, like, you know, get confused with these arrows and everything. But yeah, remember this, that these are very important and they are all throughout, they will be treated as the basics now onwards, okay? Because anytime whenever you see any advanced mathematics books they will treat this as a basic formula mostly in engineering they are very popular uh, formulas they are used very frequently so let me now take up an example related to line integration here we see this uh, we are asked to evaluate this uh, function okay integral over the c phi z raised to 4 minus z cube plus 2 dz where the curve is c is mod z equals to 1. Now let us just compare and start writing down our answer. So let me take up the color here. Okay. Now this is step number 1. Okay. So step number 1 is understanding the curve. So when we have to understand the curve, I mean that you decode every information that is possible from the curve. Now, let us write down the curve. This curve is mod z equal to 1. This can be written as mod of z minus 0 plus 0i equal to 1. Now, if we, I compare this, I'll just write here this one with compare with the standard equation okay which we saw compare with mod of z minus z naught equal to r okay so what do we get we get over here therefore z naught is equals to 0 plus 0 i that's basically 0 but to write in two terms of complex number okay so z naught is here okay and we also see r is 1 right okay now we go for the next part so we understood here that the center is uh, z naught equal to 0 plus 0 i and r is 1 so here let me write down here so center of the circle is o 0 comma 0 
and the radius is capital R equal to 1. Let's now go for the substitution for the second uh, second step rather right? step number two is finding dz now how do we do that we'll just put the values for z okay as per the formula so let z equal to z naught plus r into e to the power i theta so what do we have here z naught was 0 okay 0 plus 0 i so that's 0 and r is 1 e to the power i theta so therefore i see here that z is e to the power i theta this is my first inference i can make up over here okay this is my first thing another important thing over here i'll do the differentiate therefore i'll go for differentiation therefore dz by d theta is going to be i times e raised to i theta and therefore i have dz equals to i times e raised to i theta d theta so this is my second inference that i can make up okay now one important thing what do we do about theta now see from this circle equation mod z equal to 1 okay uh, I'll just uh, write here directly or you, if you have understood this also when we have mod z equal to 1 if we try to draw okay draw this circle here then it's going to be It's going to be the entire circle. Just a minute. Okay. So it's going to be the entire circle here that we need. So this is the circle with radius 1, here it will have minus 1 and here it will be i and here there will be minus i because we are in complex plane. Okay. So this is the circle. So therefore we have theta. You need not draw if you can understand it from because there is nothing mentioned. It's obviously the full circle. So you just can write here also 0 less than theta less than 2 pi less than or equal to 2 pi that's what is the value for theta over here now this is the third inference that we can easily understand from the diagram or from the equation because no condition is mentioned regarding the circle whether it is a quarter of the circle or the half circle or something like that so it's full circle we will consider and it's 0 to 2 pi we got everything now so step number four we come over here Step number, uh, sorry, step number three we will go. Step number three is going to be solving of the function. Okay. Step three is simplify f, f of z. So when we simplify f of z, let us see what do we get. f of z is given to us as phi z to the power 4 minus z cube plus 2 right so we substitute the value for z equals to e to the power i theta so what do i get is e to the power i and there is already 4 right i theta whole raised to 4 i'll do and here i'll get e to the power i theta whole raised to 3 plus 2 okay now this is phi e raised to 4i theta minus e to the power 3i theta plus 2. This is the value of the function that I will get. This is f of z. So I'll call this equation number 4. 
Now I go for the integration step number four is solve i. Okay. So what do we have from the integral i? i is nothing but integral c f z t z. Okay. So what do we have over here? Okay. I'll just put a line. So therefore i equal to integral. Do not write the uh, curve first. Let us see what do we get. So f of z is phi into e raised to 4 i theta minus uh, e raised to 3 i theta plus 2 times e raised to i theta and i is also there right. Uh, dz is now going to be i e raised to i theta so I'll just write i e raised to i theta d theta. Now if you see that i is going to be uh, common as a constant okay so I'll take it outside and theta limits are going to be from 0 to 2 pi okay so that they are from 0 to 2 pi so therefore i equals to i times and I'll multiply this inside okay 0 to 2 pi integrate uh, yeah uh, the integral sign will have 0 to 2 pi as the limits and then you have phi e raised to phi i theta minus e raised to 4 i theta plus 2 into e raised to i theta d theta now perform the integral this integral if you can perform in your calculator very good if it is giving the answer it's fine otherwise you do it manually the way I'm doing here and yeah I'll just integrate it here so I when I integrate it here I get phi e raised to phi i theta divided by phi i times uh, sorry minus of e raised to 4 i theta divided by 4 i plus oh, I'll just write that i properly so that it's visible mm. i then here it is 2 into e raised to i theta divided by i and this is 0 to 2 pi observe here that this i gets cancelled can you see that this i is going to get cancelled cancel cancel and cancel because when I multiply that I it will vanish this phi also gets cancelled now let us start substituting the upper limits so when I substitute the upper limit I get therefore I equal to on substitution of upper limit I'll get e to the power 10 i pi or 10 pi i okay I'll yeah 10 pi i I'll just write that way because that was that's how the standards go okay. 10 pi i 10 pi i now when you have that 10 pi i coming here and then here you will have e raised to theta when you put 2 pi it will become 8 pi i right 8 pi i divided by 4 then next is here it is e to the power uh, yeah there is 2 already there 2 into e raised to 2 pi i okay that's done minus then you have uh, e raised to 0 okay e raised to 0 is 1 here also e raised to 0 is 1 so 1 over 4 plus Simplify this you get e raised to 10 now that comes the formula now you recall that important formula Which I gave you I'll write it over here at the top corner or I'll just write here on the side Which I gave you e raised to i n pi is Nothing but minus of 1 to the power n for n belonging to integers, right? So when you have this formula you have minus of 1 to the power 10 that is obviously going to be 1 okay 
so here it is 1 minus minus of 1 to the power 8 that is going to be 1 again so 1 over 4 okay now here you have 2 into e to the power uh, 2 pi i that's going to be minus of 1 to the power 2 that is 1 okay so uh, here you will have 1 and 1 into 2 is 2 so and here 1 minus 1 4 plus 2 now you can see that the whole answer is going to be 0 okay therefore i equal to 0 this is the final answer okay i hope you got the concept over here how to integrate with the help of a, uh, this method when you have the circle into your contour okay so this was one easy example how to integrate with a contour as a circle i hope you liked the question and you understood the concept please hit like button and share it with your friends those who find it useful and Keep solving good amount of mathematics till then. I'm Mayur Gohil. I'll sign off. Thank you.